Will you stop? Let me taste it. How long are you going to keep doing that? Until it's not funny anymore. Okay, it wasn't even funny the first time. No, continuously pretending you'll feed me the cake batter and then pulling the spatula away at the last second is not funny. On my birthday, nonetheless. Let me taste it. You're mean. <gasps> You're nice. You're giving me the spatula? Aw, see deep down you're a softie. Mmm, <laughs> that tastes incredible. Mmm, heavenly. <laughs> okay, so now we just need to add the sprinkles. The sprinkles are important. It's not a birthday cake if it doesn't have sprinkles. <laughs> Yum. Is this too many? More, are you sure? <laughs> okay, that's, that's probably enough. <laughs> this is so much more fun than just buying a cake from the store. I bet it'll taste better, too. Because if you work for something, you appreciate it more. <laughs> Here, you taste it. <laughs> Here, taste it off my finger. Yeah. Delicious, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe the word I used was heavenly. <laughs> mm hmm. Heavenly. Do you think we'll actually be able to eat this whole thing? Just the two of us? <laughs> yeah, well, what we don't eat tonight will be tomorrow's breakfast. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, of course I'm fine that it's just the two of us. This is what I wanted. I told you that I wanted a very low-key birthday, okay? No gifts, no surprise party, no clown, no bounce house or parade. <laughs> Just lots and lots of cake. I like things simple, okay? It's not just about not liking the attention. I have the most fun when I'm just with you. So, did you already grease the pan? Okay, then I will pour this into here. Oh, this is heavy. I have no upper body strength. <laughs> no, it's okay, I got it. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so... It bakes for 30 to 35 minutes. I'll set a timer on my phone. Here it is. Oh, I got a text from my sister. Uh, it says, happy birthday, and... oh no. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Um, <laughs> she keeps wanting to set me up with this guy. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> because I don't want to be set up. Especially by my sister. I don't need my family to get me a boyfriend. I'm perfectly aware of how long I've been single, but thank you for the reminder. No, shut up. <laughs> Look, I'm not even interested in dating right now anyway. No, I'm not. I, I have no interest in sitting across from a stranger at a fancy restaurant where the 
food is in tiny portion sizes with weird sauces and the conversation keeps lagging and I have no interest in that, I hate that. And for the record, I have been asked out multiple times and I have said no. I know, but I don't want to get to know new people. I have you. You're all I need. Now, new topic, please. <laughs> okay, let's just continue with the birthday festivities, alright? You have flour on your face. <laughs> no, okay, you just made it worse. <laughs> There's some on your shirt, too. You should have worn an apron like I did. What? There's some on me? Where? Uh, ha ha ha. You're hilarious. <laughs> there. Flower in your hair. Payback. <laughs> no. No, leave my hair alone. No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's my birthday. That means you have to go easy on me. <laughs> Put me down. Put me down. <laughs> to go. <laughs> I never set the timer. Shoot, I got distracted. It's okay, I'll just subtract a few minutes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, now we wait for the cake. It's gonna be so fun to frost it. Frosting's my favorite part. We should make a cake entirely made out of frosting. <laughs> okay, next year. We'll do that next year. This is a perfect birthday. Mm -hmm. It's exactly how I hoped it would be. Thanks for being here. You want to know something? Today is the third year anniversary of when we met. Yeah, on the dot. Three years exactly. Crazy, huh? We met on my birthday. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I didn't say anything because... Because I was spending it alone and I, I didn't want you to know that. I didn't really have any friends. I just moved here. I felt really alone, to be honest. I used to just sit on my couch in my teeny tiny apartment, watching crime documentaries in the dark. <laughs> you saved me at just the right time. I didn't have anybody. And now I have you. And I haven't felt alone since. <laughs> oh, thanks. You don't have to get mushy just because I got mushy. Don't feel like you have to. <laughs> okay. Do you ever wonder what it would be like if we hadn't met? Mm -hmm. Like, in an alternate reality. What would our lives currently be like? And what do you think yours would be like? Do you think you'd be better off? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what do you think my life would be like? <laughs> okay, forget the crime documentaries. That was just a phase. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I like to think that I would have still made some friends here. Maybe not as cool as you, but... I hope I wouldn't still be glued to my couch. What? 
I'd probably be married or something. <laughs> What's the something? You said married or something. So what's the something? Married or engaged? Married or divorced? Married or in jail? What's the something? <laughs> Why do you think I'd be married if you and I hadn't met? Mm, doubtful. Because I don't want to be married. No, I mean, one day, yes, but not now. And certainly not to some random hypothetical guy I've never met. <laughs> Who are you picturing me married to, anyway? Uh, oh, oh, really? Okay, that's nice. That's, that's real nice. All right, well, I suppose I should thank you, then, for meeting me three years ago and preventing that marriage from ever happening. <laughs> Do you really think that you hold me back from pursuing relationships? Well, that's not a bad thing, is it? I mean, the fact that I'm not seeking out any other relationships shows that I'm fulfilled. I've got you, and that's enough for me. I don't need anyone else. And do you think I hold you back? Uh, wow, okay, that was fast. No hesitation whatsoever. I can't tell if I should be apologizing. <laughs> okay, but you essentially just told me that I'm preventing you from falling in love. I can't help but feel a little bit guilty. So, you don't think this is a problem? I didn't think so either at first, but now it's starting to sound a little bit like a problem. Well, if we're both so consumed and fulfilled with our friendship that it's keeping us from finding love, I don't know, that, that sounds kind of bad. What if before we know it, we're both 80 years old, sitting in a nursing home all alone because we've never been married or had kids, all because we held each other back. I don't want that. I want you to be happy. Have you really not pursued relationships because of me? Yeah, me too, I guess. I've been asked out a few times, but I always just say no because, I don't know, I think a part of it is that I know most guys probably wouldn't be okay with me having a best friend as close as you. Would you? I mean, if you and I were together, would you be comfortable with me having a best friend like you? <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't want you to have a best friend like me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Baking together, tickle fights, tasting cake batter off of each other's fingers. <laughs> I would think that we're secretly in love or something. We aren't in love, are we? I don't know. I've never been in love. What does love feel like? Hmm. Just give me a second. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if that's how I feel. Yep, that checks out. What if we're platonically in love, though? Is that a thing? Like, you know, platonic soulmates? Well, do you find me attractive? Do I find you attractive? I asked you first. 
Come on, answer the question. If you saw me sitting at a bar, would you approach me? Yeah, I... Yeah, I'd approach you too. I mean, I'd have to give myself a pep talk first. Probably practice in the mirror. Maybe take a shot, and then I'd approach you. Because I'd be way too intimidated. I mean, come on, look at you. Look at me. No, look at you. <laughs> you are way out of my league. No, that's crazy. <laughs> I think we should test this out. Mm hmm We should kiss. We can find out if there's something between us by kissing. Is that crazy? If we feel nothing, then no hard feelings. At least we tried, and we can laugh about it for years to come. If we do feel something, then... Well, then... I don't know. You're sure you're up for this? <laughs> okay, then. How about you kiss me? Oh, what are you... <laughs> Lifting me onto the counter, very smooth. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Kiss me. What do you mean? What am I doing? Am I, am I pulling away every time our lips are about to touch? Am I driving you crazy? <laughs> That's what you get for earlier with the spatula. I'm not the tease, you're the tease. Mm. Tastes like vanilla cake. <laughs> well, what's the consensus? I think our hypothesis is correct. say that out loud? I guess it's no secret. Because that warm and fuzzy feeling you described earlier, that's definitely how I feel. I think I've felt that with you for a while, but I was in denial or something because I was scared of having to deal with it. You're, you're just everything to me already, so if I throw in romantic feelings on top of that, that's just, that's a lot. <laughs> that's scary. It's scary how much I need you. If I were to lose you, I, I, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Thanks for the best birthday ever. 